Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the React Native series sponsored by Hashnode. So this video is a summary video. And eventually, uh, in the lot of apps that we'll be completing in the future, I will keep these videos similar to this one, which are known as a summary video. The goal behind having a summary video is to mark a point, a milestone that we have achieved this much so far, so that we can go back and evaluate ourselves that what we have learned, why we have learned and how far we have come through in this one. So in this particular video, I'll just summarize what we have achieved so far. Now this section is the toughest one or was the toughest one. The installation, the process and all these setup environment of the React Native is a little bit challenging. But I'm really happy that we have now a Discord community, active community of programmers who are helping each other in learning React Native. Not only that, they have published great amount of blogs and articles on Hashnode so that other people who are following this series, whether they are on Linux, Windows, maybe Mac, wherever on what platform they are, they have put up a tutorial guide so that other people can follow up and can put their environment up. By this video, I assume that everybody has their setup ready. Everybody has pushed at least a Hello World app and at least have modified this along with me. In case of modification, we actually worked and talked a little bit about the file structure as well. Also, we worked on to this app.tsx, although we wrote just a JavaScript in that. And also we worked on app pro.tsx in which we studied a little bit about the styling, the dark mode, the light mode, and we worked under the style sheet. Of course, this was not a full blown in-depth guide of it, but pretty good enough that we have this one. So this was all the basics of it. But here's the good news. Now, along with the summary, what we have done is I have actually pushed all of the code, all the source code of this project and eventually for the future project as well. I have already pushed them onto the GitHub. Not only that, I have created an in-depth readme guide so that you can follow up and all the materials and the links are available to us. And there's a project one contribution link as well. I'll talk about that. So let me take you on to my uh, GitHub repository. So you can just search for my name, Hitesh Chaudhary. That's my GitHub URL, github.com slash Hitesh Chaudhary. I've pinned this repository named as React Native Projects. And here you can see that this is how it looks like. I have pushed the awesome one, which was our very first project up here. But along with that, I have also created a readme file that this is the React Native guide. You can write articles about it, about the hash node, a brief about the hash node, as well as all the video playlist link is here. All the videos are already arranged. So in case you find anybody asking in the comment section, can you name these videos or point them out? The playlist is already arranged from top to bottom in the order that you should be watching that. So there is no need of marking the video as one, two, three or something like that. There is also a community. I have given a direct Discord link. So in case you are wondering where to find support and where to find other people who are learning, the Discord link is directly available there. Also, you can contribute into this open source project. I have made the entire project as open source. There are a couple of ways how you can contribute. The first one being you can join the Discord server and of course help other people and take help from other people as well. That is always the best idea. Also, you can contribute by writing articles on Hashnode. Now, I have featured here a couple of installation guides and couple of articles which I think are really useful. I have already done that. Now you can also make a pull request. Now here is my request. For this entirety of the project, I'll be creating files like one here, which says project one contribution. So this is an awesome one project. Till now, whatever I've asked you to do, uh, write an article or study something, if you're writing an article on that, just go ahead, make a pull request by adding your contribution link or your article link into this file only not in the readme file. I have also mentioned this at the bottom as well, that please do not make a pull request for the readme file or to update any code as of now. We want to keep the code as same as possible, which are mentioned in the video. In case there is any mistake as well, just let me know via the Discord server and I will uh, publish that, I will fix that. You do not need to make a pull request for the projects as of now. By the end of the series, I'll walk you through how you can contribute by adding more project, but that's for a different another day. So in case there is an article you want to contribute or you want that this article is going to add some value to other people, not just for the sake of writing the article, it should add some value to the reader. Go ahead, make a pull request, make a clone of this one. Of course, give it a star, of course, first, and then simply uh, click up here, project one contribution. So all the project till this video are going to go, all the articles are going to go up here. You can just mark your articles here and just make sure you keep on getting the clones of that. So you properly write them up. So go ahead and add this up. I will try to check out how the pull request and everything is going to work up. And you can just make a pull request and make a contribution onto this project as well. So this was quite a good uh, exercise of pushing everything on a YouTube 
and making community almost like a paid classroom kind of a community on the YouTube. This is the very first experiment being done on the YouTube itself. I'm the lucky one to make it. Of course, a big shout out and thanks to our sponsor Hashnode that allowed me to actually perform such kind of experiment. So that's all. We have done the project one and we are all ready and set up. Now the pace will increase a tiny bit because we don't need to do setup. Now we can focus purely on the code. So in the project two, we'll focus on the code. In the next video, I'll first give you a small demonstration of what we are going to build up in the project two. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.